welcome back dear friends for another exciting video of my channel uh, today we are going to talk about water filling tank dynamics in aspen high seas so the objective of these tutorials are uh, to learn how to build dynamic simulation in aspen high seas and to understand the interaction between set points and the process variables in dynamic mode so first let's have some basic information or background related to the dynamic simulation obviously uh, it is an extension of the steady state uh, simulation where the time dependency comes into the models for example uh, accumulation of mass and energy during the processes and also it depicts uh, the real and um, uh, real processes uh, that is happening in the uh, in the industry and it's possible to control the real processes uh, via the dynamic simulation models another thing that uh, the calculation in dynamic mode are way more complex and time consuming because uh, on the dependency of time interval actually you are repeating steady state simulation for example the time interval is one second so you repeat uh, all the calculation for each one second passing so with time the all parameters are continuously changing in dynamic simulation and this condition uh, usually happens uh, in process plants during the startup and shutdown uh, operations and uh, the last point is uh, the the interaction between set point and uh, process variable that is very important how the controller behave uh, against the given set points how much it takes to reach the set point and uh, how much it deviate from a given set point so these are some basics uh, understanding our basic knowledge of the dynamic simulation so let's uh, practice uh, one problem to understand and grab uh, the knowledge related to the dynamic simulation uh, process in Aspen Heises. So it is the very simple, very, very simple uh, example that we are going to solve in Heises. So it's a water filling tank. The tank volume is given that is 4 cubic meter and water uh, is passing through this tank and uh, the flow rate uh, is 5000 kg per hour and uh, the condition uh, it enters into the tank 25 degree C and 5 bar pressure and the composition of the feed is pure water and air 90% in mole uh, 90 mole, per, 90 mole percent is water and 10 mole percent is air and uh, it passing through wall when uh, one and enters into our tank and here we have a flow indicator controller and it acts as a reverse action so what is reverse action controller a reverse action controller is the one whose output tends to decrease as the measurement signal increases for example if we talk about here the set point to this uh, controller if i say it's uh, 5000 kg per hour of feed is the set point okay so if the controller uh, assess that the flow rate is above uh, the set point for example instead of 5000 it is 6000 kg per hour then what will be the output of this controller obviously it will give the command in the form of to reduce the actuator position of this valve in order to maintain the set point at 5000 kg per hour so this loop is uh, the, this controller acts as a reverse action controller. So uh, we are going to use these controllers in uh, HiSys. So uh, here I am just uh, trying to clear uh, the basic uh, definitions or basic understandings related to the process uh, 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 process related uh, knowledge. And another thing that I want to discuss here 
for dynamic simulation it is it is uh, compulsory that there should be a, uh, a pressure drop regime from uh, start to the process to the end of the process uh, if you do not have any pressure drop like in uh, steady state simulation it will not be possible to solve a problem in dynamic way so to be consistent uh, we are taking one bar pressure drop against each valve okay so it enter into the tank and uh, we want to maintain the tank uh, level at 50 percent of this tank so to maintain this level we are introducing another level indicator controller that will act like a uh, in a direct action uh, fashion so why what is the direct action controller a direct action controller is the one whose output tends to increase as the measurement signal increases so the here what is the measurement signal is actually the set point uh, the level of a tank so if the level of a tank increases so what will be the correction uh, the the action of the controller obviously it will uh, increase the opening of this valve so this is the direct action controller so this is the general uh, process flow diagram and the basic parameters that we are going to use to build this uh, 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 the, to build this simulation in Aspen Hysis. So let's move to the Aspen Hysis to solve this problem. So we are in Aspen Hysis uh, property environment. So the first step is we have to introduce all the components which are going to participate in simulation in our case it's water and air okay so the components have been selected next step is go to the property packages and add a thermodynamic uh, property package that the uh, software will use to estimate the thermodynamic properties and in this case, we are going to use very famous Ping Robinson just for uh, uh, understanding the process. The next step is go to the simulation environment and build the flow sheet like we have in PowerPoint. So we need a tank for that. Go to the separators and from separators, take a tank and drop it into the uh, 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 flow sheet canvas double click on it and uh, introduce the inlet and outlet stream so i'm just writing number one is inlet and uh, number two is liquid outlet number three is paper outlet and then simply close this one after that again go to the flow sheet parameters and take models and uh, streams uh, ribbon click on it and uh, we need uh, valves so for that uh, go to the uh, change pressure changing equipments take control valves so we need three so one two and three so we already have three valves so double click on valve uh, one I'm just say valve one and uh, the inlet stream here is feed and the outlet stream here is one okay cross it and uh, in case of here we have this is second valve valve two and uh, the inlet is two the outlet is water okay cross this one as well double click on the third valve so it's valve three and the inlet is three outlet is air okay cross this one so uh, we have here 
the basic uh, flow sheet like we have in powerpoint you can just see once again so there are three valves well one two three and uh, air water and feed so now go uh, go back and uh, we will specify the feed for this process okay so double click on the feed stream the temperature of feed is given that is 25 degrees c and pressure is 5 bar and mass flow rate is uh, 5000 kg per hour as i remember and after that go to the composition and water is 90 mole percent that is 0 0.9 and air is 10 mole percent that is 0 0.1 in terms of mole pressure click on it so the feed stream is fully specified and because i already mentioned that if we want to run this simulation in dynamic mode and uh, the there should be a driving force that is the pressure in gradient throughout the uh, simulation from inlet until out outlet and here we are going to take one bar pressure drop against each uh, uh, each uh, uh, valve so how we will define it for that just double click on feed and from feed go to the dynamics tab and here deactivate the uh, flow specification because we want we are going to perform this calculation on the base of pressure difference and only we are going to uh, 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 consider the pressure specification so the pressure specification is active now close this one now uh, click double click uh, on the stream number one go to the dynamics and here the pressure uh, just enter four bar gauge and it's active okay because there is one bar pressure drop against this valve okay and now uh, double click on air so go to the dynamics again here uh, put instead of four three bar okay close this one and similarly for water go to the dynamics and right here three bar gauge okay so if you see in steady state mode the simulation is already converged okay but we want to transfer it into dynamic mode for that we have to make some changing okay so because if we look in the flow sheet there are two controllers so one is level indicator controller and the other one is flow indicator uh, indicator uh, controller so how we can introduce them okay so go back so there is another thing because these are the valves and uh, we have to specify the valve characteristics uh, in order to move into the dynamic simulation for that we have here data in terms of uh, cv or conductance or we can say it is the uh, flow capacity of a uh, of a valve uh, in us gallon at specified conditions okay so for valve one the cv value is 75 and for valve two cv value is 55 so how we can define them so double click on valve one okay and go to the dynamics and here you can see dynamic parameters valve opening is okay conductance so the cv that is actually us gallons uh, per minute at 60 fahrenheit and uh, against pressure difference of 1 psi so it's given that is 70 put it here okay 
and uh, there should be another thing that you should ensure that the pressure flow relation is check uh, is check so after that close this one go to the second valve and go to the dynamics again here the conductance is 9.72 uh, and uh, the given value for the second valve is 55 so just uh, change it uh, 55 okay so close this one and again open valve number three and go to the dynamics and uh, check the relationship is okay okay after that next step is double click on the tank okay and go to the dynamics of the tank and the volume of tank is given that is four cubic meter okay so just put here four sorry four cubic meter and the liquid level percent so because we are uh, going to fill this tank from zero and see how it will behave so i am putting here zero percent at the start okay so uh, now everything is seems fine after that just click on this button add configure level controller okay and uh, uh, close this window and now you can see here we already have level indicator controller now the double click on it to see uh, what is the process variable in that case the liquid percent level is the process variable source that this controller is taking from the uh, the tank level okay and uh, the output target object is the the valve to actuator position so this is okay and you know uh, for even controllers you have some tuning parameters and uh, for that go to the parameter section and uh, the the thing how this uh, controller is going to act uh, reverse action or direct action so this one is the direct action that is okay and the mode is automatic but you can have manual mode or indicator just it showing the value what is going there but we are going to put it on auto mode and the set point here is zero percent but uh, we have set point initially 50 percent of set point and the process uh, variable is zero percent because you know uh, when i was specifying the tank liquid percent i put there zero so at this time it is zero and the output uh, or the output uh, uh, of this controller that is the actuator position it is 50 percent open and this is the process variable range that is uh, zero to hundred percent and uh, this data is given actually so if you go here so this is the level indicator controller the set point is 50 percent minimum and maximum uh, percentage is 0 to 100 percent and the kc value that is actually the process gain parameter and uh, ti uh, and uh, ti is uh, the initial time to calculate this one okay so now we are going to define all these parameters into the high says so the process gain is 0 0.5 and uh, the initial time we are taking five minutes and the rest thing is already specified after defining it now uh, just uh, click on this face plate okay and close this one so you can see you have uh, a face plate for this uh, particular controller well after that now it's time to specify the second controller that is the flow indicator controller so for that 
again go to the flow sheet modify ribbon and uh, click on the models and stream step and from here go to the dynamics and control and select a pid controller and drop it into uh, flow sheet environment okay now double click on it and uh, process variable source we have to select so select it and uh, the process variable source is going to taken from the feed stream and uh, it is a uh, mass flow okay so click on mass flow and select so the process variable source has been selected and now what is this going to be manipulate is actually the actuator position of valve one so for that just select and uh, here it is valve one and actuator position so just select it okay but if you see that it's a unknown ranges for process variable for that go to the parameters okay and you can see that uh, this controller is going to act in a reverse fashion and the mode is off but we want to put it on auto mode and set point uh, we have here uh, 5000 uh, sorry first I have to define the process variable uh, range for that uh, we have here from 0 to 7000 so uh, just enter 0 and uh, 7000 kg per hour and here the set point we insert that is uh, 5000 kg per hour well again the tuning parameters for these controllers are also given the kc value is 0 0.5 and the initial time period is one minute to to act this controller okay after defining this one you can also insert the face plate of this controller so close this one well now we are ready to move into the dynamic uh, environment for that go to the top ribbon and select dynamics and after that click on dynamic mode so it says are you sure to enter into the dynamic yes I'm sure okay so it says that uh, disable stream uh, pressure specification make changes so just click on it and finish okay so sorry so enter into the dynamic so now we are in dynamic mode uh, the next step is we have to insert uh, integrator click on it and uh, here uh, the mode integration control should be automatic unit is given in minute current time so we are starting from zero acceleration so it's one uh, but at one it will be very very fast so in order to see the changing i am just putting 0 0.1 to see how the process variable and uh, the uh, uh, set point and the level inside the tank are moving with time so for the first uh, uh, simulation uh, i just want to run it for um, 100 minute okay after that uh, after specifying this thing uh, just close this window and okay next step is go to the stop ribbon and select strip charts and this new window will appear and uh, click on it data logger add ah sorry uh, just uh, i just want to remove one the second one so delete so the click first one and edit and here we have to add uh, two variables one is the number one is the tank uh, liquid percent level so here the tank is actually v 
uh, 100 and uh, we have to select from here liquid uh, liquid uh, level percent or liquid percent level and then done and the second variable uh, that we have to specify here is the level indicator controller set point so LIC 100 and here we have to select set point and insert it done okay so when you uh, insert both of them then simply click on display button and then this data logger window will appear so cross this one also cross this one and now you have this window so a little bit increase its size and uh, drag it until here okay so now we are ready to run our simulation okay so for that go again to integrator okay so you can run simulation in two ways one either you can just go to integ integrator set the parameters and then simply click on start and the other one is from top ribbon click on this run button okay so i just press this run button so now you can see how the uh, uh, process variable is behaving against the set point so in 100 minutes you can see uh, it linearly cross the set point and then come back and then slowly uh, become to the equal to the set, uh, uh, set point so if i want to change the set point so how i can do it for example the current set point is 50 percent but i want to have 70 percent or 80 percent how i can do that for that uh, go to this uh, face plate of the lic controller and here you have set point so it's 50 so just increase until uh, maybe 80 so one way you can do from here another way just click on tuning and here you can have direct for example i just want to put 80 percent so it's more precise way to to add the set point after that just close this one okay and again go to the integrator open it so already at this time it's 100 minute already passed and now i want that the simulation will end maybe in uh, another uh, uh, 60 minute maybe so let's see so after that just again click on this continue button uh, actually i make a mistake because i should have a time that is uh, plus this one so instead of writing 60 i should have to write 160 minute okay and after that just click on continue and then you can see the set point is suddenly increased but the process variable first cross the set point and come back and again so it's the conventional oscillation of pid controller okay so in 160 uh, minute we are here at around 79 percent of level in the tank but if i want to have the set point of uh, 25 percent again you have to go to the lic controller go to the tuning and you can simply change from 80 to 20 percent of level okay and after that again close this window and uh, go to again integrator and here so the current is 160 and i say now another 100 minute okay so after inserting the new time again just press continue so you can see that 
how it is behaving against the set point this is the process variable that is uh, changing along the set point in the given period of time Uh, that's all for today's tutorial and I hope you like it and you learn something new from this tutorial uh, If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and many more uh, Until next video uh, Bye. Bye. Stay tuned. Take care